What's up guys, happy November. Today's video, I thought it would be fun to switch it up and do another local food joint. Today we are actually gonna go to a place called Beach House Dog. It is a local hot dog joint and I've been wanting to try it ever since they opened up. They are fairly new to my town. They've been around I think since the beginning of this year. They have almost five stars on Google though, so I think it should be pretty good. And we're also gonna do a little Q&A as well because you guys asked me a ton of good questions a while back. So I will show you guys the restaurant once we get over there. I'm gonna try and record myself ordering inside, but we will see how it goes. Here is the actual restaurant, Beach House Dog. Can I get two of the regular hot dogs all the way? And then can I also try the pimento cheese sandwich? I'll do an order of the onion rings as well, and I think that's gonna be good. Okay, so here's the inside of the restaurant. You have like your old fashioned style menu. They have added these to their menu. Here's their ice cream. I was gonna get ice cream, but I figured it would probably melt. There's inside of the kitchen. And then they have this section here where you can eat. There's actually nobody here, but I'm not gonna eat in here because they have music playing. But look, they have a pinball machine. And then they also have, what is this, foosball? I don't think it's foosball, but it's like similar to foosball. It's pretty cute in here. All right, you guys, we have secured the bag. Okay, let me pop into my car and get everything set up and then we will get started. All right, you guys, so I've popped into my car now. I do just want to apologize about the lighting. It's very overcast today, so I don't know how good the lighting's gonna be, but I was talking to the guy in there. So this is truly a local, local restaurant. It's owned by a husband and wife and he said that he had to completely gut this place. It used to be a pizzeria and I guess it was just really nasty on the inside so he had to completely redo the whole inside but as you guys probably saw from the footage it looks really nice in there so I'm super excited to try this food you guys and I think it's exciting to do more local food spots because we do so much large fast food corporations on the channel, so I'm excited to support local, and I will link their, I think they have a Facebook page, so I will link that in the description box. But, onto the food. So, we got ourselves a pimento cheese sandwich, which I'm excited about that. I think that should be pretty good. I saw it in a picture on their Facebook, and it looked amazing. And then this is, Ooh, okay, so here's the hot dogs. Let me give you guys a good close up. So I got it all the way, which comes with mustard, chili, onions, coleslaw, I think. And then we also got some onion rings. These onion rings look delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the pimento cheese sandwich a little bit closer up so you guys can see it. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this because this looks so good. Oh, that's delicious. The pimento cheese is so flavorful. Mmm. This is like a grilled cheese on crack. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> no words, you guys, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Okay, I am wishing we had some zesty sauce from Burger King for our onion rings, but it's okay. Let's bite into these. Okay. These are so good. They kind of remind me of cookouts. Mm-hmm. They are just like cookouts, you guys. Oh, those are so good. Okay, let's answer a question. First question is, did you or do you ever feel pressure to accomplish a lot in your 20s? And I included this because I feel like a lot of us can probably relate to this and this is relating to career success finding a partner etc so i think with social media we really compare ourselves to other people and what we accomplish in relation to our age if you know what i'm saying okay let me take a bite of this hot dog oh this looks delicious Okay, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. That is an A1 hot dog right there. And I think they were only 280 each, which is not bad. But anyways, onto the question. So yeah, I feel like a lot of us can relate to the fact that we compare ourselves to other people on social media we see other people our age with an amazing job or a big house, even just owning a house in general, getting married, or whatever age bracket you're in. Maybe you're a teenager and you see people with the latest fashion trends. I think social media is really what causes that. I feel like keeping up with the Jones has always been a thing, trying to keep up with everyone else, but social media especially makes us feel like we have to keep up with everyone else. Um, it's just not realistic. You have to move at your own pace and appreciate where you are in life and the path that you're on and not compare yourself to other people. I see people getting married way younger than me and I feel like I have to get married because everyone else is getting married. But I have to ask myself, like, is that even something that I want to do right now in life? Do I want to get married? Do I want that commitment? Do I want to spend that money to be married? I don't know if I want to get married because society makes me think I want to get married or if I actually want to get married. It can be hard to decipher between uh, those two things, you know? even without sauce these are so good but yeah I don't know at the end of the day personally I'm very happy with my career and my relationship yeah I may not have a house and I see so many other people with houses that are even younger than me but comparison it's very it's it's a very evil thing you can't compare yourself to other people regardless of what you see on social media. I know a lot of us do that, so. It can definitely be hard. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good grilled cheese? Okay, next question. 
Um, how do you invest your money and how do you save money? Do you follow minimalism living? I definitely do not follow minimalism living and minimalism living to me, I think a lot of people call themselves minimalist and they're not really minimalist. So I don't, I don't love that term unless you truly live that lifestyle and you say for a fact you can. But I definitely don't. I have a checking account and then I have a savings account and I put all of my extra money into my savings account and then I don't touch it again. I try to view my savings as money I don't have. <laughs> so if it's in my savings account, it's not actually my money. That's what I try to tell myself, but I have pulled from my savings account for different reasons, whether it was an investment or something. But yeah, highly suggest having a savings account and putting your money into that savings account and don't touch it. As for investments, I was investing a lot in cryptocurrency, but I just don't know what is going on with cryptocurrency and where the future holds for it. So I haven't been investing as much into that. I was investing into Dogecoin and Bitcoin. I was going to invest into Ethereum. I think that's what it's called, but I never did. But now I'm investing a lot into ETFs. I also have a 401k, so like a pretty secure retirement through my job and all that but in terms of my own investing i invest a lot into etfs and the etfs i would recommend and i'm not super knowledgeable on this i'm not a financial advisor so don't i mean like i'm not giving financial advice i'm just saying what i do so i use the app robin hood for all of my investments you can use a bunch of different ones i just use robin hood because it's easy um, I have investments in VOO, which is Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. I have investments in the Vanguard Total Star Stock Market ETF. And then I have SPPI, which is Spectrum Pharmaceuticals, which I think that was a free stock that I got from Robin. <laughs> And then Bitcoin and Dogecoin. I would recommend doing ETFs because basically what ETFs does is it includes a bunch of different stocks into one single stock if that makes sense <laughs> i don't know how to word it but it's like the top 50 or top 500 performing stocks all grouped into one so it's safer Because if one tanks, but one goes all the way up, it kind of balances out so there's less risk involved. So I was going to invest into an I-bond, which was through the Department of Treasury. But I couldn't get them to verify my identity for some reason. They couldn't do it just based on my social security number, so I ended up having to fill out this form and get a some sort of how would you call it? Like um I had to get a member of the bank to sign off on it, verify my identity. And I could not find anybody willing to sign off on it. I went to my personal bank. I went to another bank, I called around a few places and everyone was like, we can't sign off on that. I don't know why, but I just gave up on it and I ended up taking that money and buying like designer handbags, which was not the smartest thing ever, but I got to the point where I was tired of just seeing the money sit in my bank account and lose value because of inflation and so... I already had money invested in all of these stocks and it really feel like putting more money into it so I was like you know what let me just buy myself a few handbags and enjoy it and I love fashion anyway so I was like yeah it's not the smartest thing it's not like I'm gonna make a ton of money from the handbags but 
It made sense in my head. This hot dog is so good. Mm. Anyways, I hope that helps. Like I said, I'm not an expert on investing by any means. So if you are interested in investing, there are so many YouTube videos on it. I have my investments because of a YouTube video that I watched and this is what they suggested. So look up YouTube videos if you're interested, I guess. Okay, advice for somebody who, as I get older, am less and less sure of my gifts and place in the world. That's really hard because I totally feel you. I feel like the older you get, the harder it is to find your place in the world. Um, I think the number one thing is to follow what you're passionate about. Even if that is not necessarily extremely valuable to others, if it makes you happy, if you get happiness from doing what you love, you can then spread happiness to other people. I don't think you can make others happy if you're, if you don't love your life, you know, because you're going to be unhappy with yourself and your life and that's going to rub off on other people, whether that is because you're complaining a lot or whatever the case may be. So try to just follow and do what you love and the rest will come in terms of bringing value to the world or whatever it is that you are wanting to accomplish. I hope that makes sense, but I think too much we focus on, I think society puts this pressure on us that we need to do so much for other people in society and people try to make you, f I mean, I get comments saying, oh, so you're good at eating food on camera, but what do you do for society? Like, I'm sorry, who, who, who are you? I mean, I think all of us wanna do something that brings value to other people, but you have to make sure that first and foremost, you are putting yourself first. You are making sure that you are taking care of yourself and making yourself happy, and then you can spread that to other people. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. Sorry, my camera died, but I really liked this question. Amber asked, what was the biggest adult life shock to you? So I think the biggest adult life shock to me is how messy adults are. And adults are really just big kids. I feel like when I was younger, I just thought of adults as being these people that had their life together and just knew everything and never made mistakes. But now that I'm... 27 and I'm older I understand that adults don't have it all together and adults make mistakes and adults are messy and yeah you're basically still just a big kid <laughs> I think growing up it was interesting to learn like how oh no guys my car is a mess okay i just spilled a bunch of chili in my car but i will worry about that later so i think it was really shocking to learn like how disingenuous people are and how disloyal people are it's very hard to find loyalty within people whether that's in a relationship or within friends people can be very very disingenuous and I I'm lucky that I live somewhere where like southerners are very upfront they tell you exactly how they feel they're not I mean granted like it's not perfect over here people love to gossip and be two-faced but I feel like in the south you can find a lot of very genuine people and I just hear so many horror stories of other places like on the west coast of just people being very much about status and all of that 
And life shouldn't be that way. You know, life should be about genuine connections and being there for one another and community. And in a lot of places, it's not like that. So... You know, once I got into the corporate world and I started learning about people having affairs with their coworkers and people just doing really shitty things to their loved ones, it just makes you realize how messy the world is. And it can be kind of scary to think about. It definitely motivates me to be as genuine as I can and just live a life that I'm proud of and treat others how I want to be treated. But you learn there's a lot of crappy people out there. And I feel like whenever you're younger, you think all adults are amazing because they're an adult. They have their life together. And it's just not true. Okay, last question I'm going to answer. Um, Mahi asked one thought that came to your mind that you would want to tell your 20-year-old self. So I think the number one thing I would want to tell my 21 year old self is to just not worry so much about the future. Um, I guess just to enjoy the present more, I still tell myself to this day, like, girly, Stop worrying so much about the future and what's to come and stop worrying so much about tomorrow. Enjoy the now. Just let things happen. Don't stress so much about certain things. I don't know. I've always been someone where everything it always ends up being okay. Like I worry a lot. I'm a big overthinker and worrier and I'm constantly worrying about things inside of my head. But everything always ends up being okay, you know? So it's like I have to really tell myself to just sit back and relax and like let things be like what will be will be what's meant to be will be you know that sort of thing okay i am dropping this food all over me so I think I'm going to have to wrap this video up because, wow, I got to clean up. I got to get back to work. Today is Monday when I'm filming this. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a hectic day, but thank you guys for hanging out with me, listening to me answer a few questions, seeing me try out a local food spot. Again, this place is called Beach House Dog, located in Greensboro, North Carolina. I will put their details in the description box. I love you guys so, so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>